as one of the root causes or the way you describe it, so like you say that you know all motivation is a desire to escape discomfort and um, to escape pain we tend to procrastinate and uh, procrastination is being less productive as work I think work in particular has, has become a very interesting area of a lot of phenomena over especially you know the last year year and a half COVID times and there seems to be a movement where people are more and more aware of what they actually don't like at work now that they have to um, sort of comparison to how it looks at home and what companies do about it if if we say that certain contexts are painful and uh, in theory should move away from that or just push that away uh, to be less distracted um, how can we how can we help people a bit more maybe identify these these items at work maybe in particular to say right I'm very distracted at work because it's sort of painful so the distraction is not going to solve that it's actually yeah. about figuring out what's the pain part and then maybe right. doing something about that so, so let's back up a little bit because I think you're exploding mm -hmm. people's minds right now without explaining what what you're talking about so let's let's because you read the book yes. <laughs> which is great yes. but Sorry, let's, let's get everybody else up <laughs> to speed so the the assertion that I make is that uh, if we want to understand distraction, and to me, it's a very interesting question. Why is it that despite knowing what to do, we don't do it, right? The problem that we have today used to be maybe in our grandparents' generation, when they didn't know how to do something, they went to a source of knowledge to find out the answer to their problem, right? They asked the priest. If they were lucky, they might be able to go to the library. They looked for information somewhere because they didn't know what to do. They didn't know the answer. That is not our problem. Our problem today is not that we have scarcity of information. If you don't know the answers to something, you Google it. <laughs> we have infinite amounts of information. There's more blogs to read, more books to consume, more videos to watch than you could ever watch in many, many lifetimes, right? So we have no shortage of information. So there is no excuse to say, you know what? I wanted to get healthy, but I didn't know how to lose weight. It's there. Who doesn't know how to be more productive at work? Do the work, especially the hard stuff that other people don't want to do. How do you have good relationships? It, it, you, know, you have to be fully present with people. We know this stuff. Who doesn't know? We all know. The problem is we don't know how to get out of our own way. We don't know how to stop getting distracted. And so to do that, to ask ourselves why, despite knowing what to do, and this is an ancient question. Uh, Plato had the same exact question. Of, of why, despite not know, but despite knowing what to do, people don't do the right thing, the thing that they later regret not doing. And the answer is we have to start with motivation. What is the nature of human motivation? Now, most people totally misunderstand the nature of human motivation. Most people think that if you ask them, hey, how do you motivate someone? They will give you some version of carrots and sticks, right? That everything we do is about you know, pursuing pleasure and avoiding pain, right? Sigmund Freud said this, Jeremy Bentham said this, not true. Turns out that we now know, neurologically speaking, that human motivation is not about the pursuit of pleasure and the avoidance of pain, but rather everything you do, everything you do, you do for only one reason, and that is the desire to escape discomfort. Everything you do, even, even the pursuit of pleasurable sensations, wanting to feel good is itself psychologically destabilizing. Craving, desire, lusting, wanting, Ugh, it hurts. There's a reason we say love hurts because desire is uncomfortable. That's what spurs us to go get the things that make us feel good. But fundamentally, the way the brain motivates us to act is through what we call the homeostatic response. So think about it physiologically, right? So if you go outside and it's cold, the brain says, ooh, that doesn't feel good. You should put on a coat. And when you go back inside, so the brain says, oh, that, you're too hot. You, you have to regulate your temperature. Take it off. If you're hungry, your, your brain gets signals that you feel hunger pangs. And if you eat too much, oh, now you feel stuffed. The brain says you've had enough, stop eating. So physiologically, this is common sense. The same holds true psychologically. So when you're feeling lonely, you check Facebook. When you're uncertain, we Google. When you're bored, ugh, lots of solutions to boredom, right? Sports scores, stock prices. Oh, let's check the news so we can worry about somebody's problem 3,000 miles away as opposed to th having to think about and, and sit with our feelings in our own head. So what we have to understand is that all human behavior stems from a desire to escape discomfort, which therefore means, if all human behavior is a desire to escape discomfort, that time management is pain management. I'll say that again. Time management is pain management. I spent five years researching 
all the tricks, all the psychological literature, all the, the, the research around this topic, and I would tell you that none of the stuff works, none of it works, unless you start first and foremost, as the first step, understanding what are your internal triggers, what are these uncomfortable emotional states that you're seeking to escape from, because whether it's too much news, too much booze, too much food, uh, too much football, too much Facebook, it doesn't matter. You're always going to get distracted from something unless you know the underlying reason that you are trying to escape discomfort in the first place. So the first step to becoming indistractable, the most important step, is mastering these internal triggers or they will become your master.